In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. By the Sacred Heart of Jesus, and the Immaculate Heart of Mary, one with Louisa, the little daughter of the Divine Will, I enter into the Holy Divine Will. Come, Divine Will, come beat in my every heartbeat, come breathe in my every breath, come pray, adore, and reign in me. In the name of everyone and everything, past, present, and future, in, with, through, and for Jesus, Mary, and Louisa, in, with, and for all, that all may be for the glory of God and the good of all souls giving to God as if all lived in the most holy divine will. United with creation, redemption, and sanctification, praying as one in that one eternal act. For the kingdom to come, Reign on earth. Fiat. Day 9. The Queen of Heaven in the Kingdom of the Divine Will is constituted by God celestial peacemaker and bond of peace between creator and creature. The soul to our celestial queen. Sovereign lady and my dearest mama, I see that you call me as you feel the ardor of the love that burns in your heart because you want to narrate to me what you did for your child in the kingdom of the divine will. How beautiful it is to see you direct your steps toward your creator. And as they hear the treading of your feet, they look at you and feel wounded by the purity of your gazes. And they await you in order to be spectators of your innocent smile, to smile at you and to amuse themselves with you. Oh, please, holy mama, in your joys, in your chaste smiles with your creator, do not forget your child who lives in the exile, who is so much in need, and whose will, peeping out, would often want to overwhelm me, to snatch me from the kingdom of the divine will. Lesson of the Queen of Heaven Child of my maternal heart, do not fear. I will never forget you. On the contrary, if you always do the divine will and live in its kingdom, we will be inseparable. I will always carry you clasped in my hand to lead you and be your guide in order to teach you how to live in the supreme fiat. Therefore, banish fear. In it, everything is peace and security. The human will is the disturber of souls and puts in danger the most beautiful works, the holiest things. Everything is unsafe in it sanctity, virtues, and even the salvation of the soul are in danger. And the characteristic of one who lives of human will is volubility. 
Who could ever trust one who lets herself be dominated by the human will? No one. Neither God nor man. She looks like those empty reeds that turned at every blow of wind. Therefore, the dearest child of mine, if a blow of wind wants to render you inconstant, plunge yourself into the sea of the divine will and come to hide on the lap of your mama that I may defend you from the wind of the human will and holding you tightly in my arms, I may render you firm and confident along the path of its divine kingdom. Now, my child, follow me before the Supreme Majesty and listen to me. With my rapid flights, I would reach their divine arms and upon arriving, I would feel their overflowing love, which, like mighty waves, covered me with their love. Oh, how beautiful it is to be loved by God. In this love, one feels happiness, sanctity, infinite joys, and one feels so embellished that God himself feels enraptured by the striking beauty he infuses in the creature in loving her. I wanted to imitate them, and, though little, I did not want to remain behind their love. So, from the ways of love they had given me, I would form my waves in order to cover my Creator with my love. In doing this, I would smile, because I knew that my love could never cover the immensity of their love. But in spite of this, I would try, and my innocent smile would arise on my lips. The Supreme Being would smile at my smile, make him feast and amusing himself with my littleness. Now, in the middle of our loving stratagems, I remembered the painful state of my human family upon earth, for I too was of their offspring, and how I grieved and prayed that the eternal word would descend and put a remedy to it. And I would say this with such tenderness as to reach the point of changing smile and feast into crying. The Most High was so moved by my tears, more so, since they were the tears of a little one, and pressing me to their divine bosom, they dried my tears and said to me, Daughter, do not cry. Pluck up courage. Into your hands we have placed the destiny of mankind. We gave you the mandate. And now, to console you more, we make of you the peacemaker between us and the human family. So, to you it is given to reconcile us. The power of our will that reigns in you compels us to give the kiss of peace to poor humanity, decayed and unsafe. Who can tell you, my child, what my heart felt at this divine condescension? My love was so great that I felt faint and in delirium I was restless, looking for more love as relief for my love. Now, a word to you, my child. If you listen to me by banishing your will and giving the royal place to the divine fiat, you too will be loved with striking love by your creator. You too will be his smile. You will put him in feast and will be bond of peace between the world and God. The soul. Beautiful mama, help your child 
be you yourself. Place me into the sea of the divine will and cover me with the waves of the eternal love that I may see and hear nothing but divine will and love. Day 9, Little Sacrifice Today, to honor me, you will ask me for all of my acts and will enclose them in your heart so that you may feel the strength of the divine will that reigned in me. And then, you will offer them to the Most High to thank him for all the offices he gave me in order to save the creatures. Ejaculatory Prayer Queen of Peace, make the divine will give me its kiss of peace. Dearest Lord Jesus, I thank you for your lessons of today. Free me from living one single instant outside of your will. Have pity on me and do not permit that I either know or acquire any other life except that of your divine will. Fiat et amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.